And tonight we're learning more about the victims of Friday night shooting at Naval Air Station Pensacola. The Navy confirms all three were sailors and among them Naval Airman Muhammad Hytham. He was a 19 year old from St. Petersburg. His father describes him as an exceptional kid and all star athlete. 23 year old ensign Joshua Watson from Enterprise was also killed. The third victim, 21 year old airman apprentice Cameron Walters was from Richmond Hill, Georgia. Fox's Jackie Heinrich has the latest on the investigation. We are, as we do in most active shooter investigations, work with the presumption that this was an act of terrorism. Federal officials trying to figure out what caused Mohammed Saeed Al Shamrani to open fire on a Pensacola Naval Base Friday, killing three and injuring eight others. Last night we confirmed that the shooter has been identified as a 21 year old second lieutenant in the Royal Saudi Air Force who was a student, naval flight officer at Naval Aviation School's command. The Saudi government is pledging full cooperation during the investigation, and several students who were close to the shooter are also cooperating. The AP reporting Al Shamrani hosted a dinner party earlier in the week with three other Saudi nationals where they watched videos of mass shootings. One of those Saudi students allegedly recorded the shooting from outside the building while two others watched from a car. As for the shooter, federal officials did say this about the weapon used in the attack. It was purchased lawfully. I have told you that it is a 9 millimeter uh, weapon, Glock 45. It was purchased lawfully. And that's the information we should Investigators also giving a message to Pensacola residents about their safety in the wake of this tragedy. The community is safe and there's not any sort of immediate direct threat of any additional terrorist acts at this time. Investigators say they believe the shooter acted alone, although the investigation is ongoing. In Pensacola, Jackie Heinrich, Fox News.